Well, Al, what a way to get into the playoff places. A 3 0 home win over one of your promotion rivals. What pleased you most about that comprehensive win today? All the second half. Wasn't happy at half time, even though we <coughs> converted a great finish. But I don't think it was in the game enough. I don't think we'd imposed ourselves enough in the first half. And um, I could see, you know, the, the Ensford were going to get back into the game. So we wanted to get up the tempo a little bit try and make a few more mistakes, impose ourselves on the game a little bit more in the second half. And every credit to them all, they, you know, they, they just delivered it, the full package. It was a, a terrific performance all over the pitch, but the first goal was always going to be crucial. And uh, I think it was your first shot on target, first shot of any of any type in, uh, in, in 21 minutes, and, and Scott took it well. Yeah, it was our first attack of any significance anyway. And um, it's a classic counter. They got all the, all the play built up in our half, we break, Scott goes through, finishes it off, 1-0, it's a sickener for them. Mm. And um, you know that, that that kept us in good stead for the rest of the half, I think I think that just kept our nose in front. It was strange, the first 20 minutes, I know they weren't having shot after shot after shot, but they, they were on top, weren't they, for the first 20? You must have been a, a bit disappointed with the way you came out. Definitely, they, they were the better team for the first half hour, I thought, uh, until, until we converted the goal. And then... Um, we got back into it last 15, 20 minutes and we settled down and I think uh, Tunji started to um, make his mark in the game. I said that at our time, I said you, 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 you sort of settled us down and you broke things up and, and now people are just settling down into, into the game proper, but you've, ki you've kick-started it. Mm. I'm pleased you mentioned Tunji because um, I thought he got through a lot of work that, that a lot of people might not have noticed today, but somebody did because he's got the man of the match award. Well, he, he does that. and. Um, but his attitude is, you know, he's bang on. He's, uh, he's a very competitive character. Um, don't say a lot, but manages to let his football do the talking. His attitude is first class, and um, it's no surprise to me. You know, I thought he had a, a really good game the other night at Warrington, mm. and um, he topped even that off today. I thought as well in terms of fitness, energy, effort. The lads were just unbelievable today. They just kept on going, and there was almost a hunger to batter somebody today and I, and I think Hensford in the end will probably be relieved to get out with three won't they? Yeah that was that was a team performance we've had we've had some really good individual performances we've we've been half there as a team in other games but um, today I look around I think I'm looking around at all the players and I'm thinking do you know what you've you, you've all done you've all done the club and the supporters proud in what you've delivered in that second half and uh, I'm just, just made up with them all. You had to make a change at half time. Andy Owens coming off. What's mm. what's happened there? Uh, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't feeling too clever at half time, and um, you know, like the good pro he is, instead of trying to just mingle through the second half, he just said, "You need to get me off." You know, I'm, mm. I'm struggling a little bit. So that was a great shout for me. And that's what we want. We want that professionalism in the club. Um, cards on the table. You know, he he informs us. He comes off. Sharpie comes on. It's virtually a straight swap because very similar type of player. So nothing was disrupted and uh, we got an out on with our business. There was a big call for you before the game, I think, with Ian Ormson playing in goal. I know Danny Hurst started the season for you. Ian's come in, not put a foot wrong. Today, I mean, a clean sheet and a couple of tremendous saves as well in the, in the course of that. Well, I have a few principles and, you know, he's done... I've said this a few times in the season about people, you know, why aren't you playing him? And my answer to that is that, you know, he hasn't done enough. He hasn't not done enough to be left out of the team. And I think Ian, in the performances he's had last couple of games, um, for me to go in and say to him, "Well, you know, Danny's ready. Danny's a great keeper. Don't get me wrong. It was a difficult choice. That was a difficult choice to make today. But um, he's waited patiently, and you know, to leave him out, I think it would have been unjust at that particular, you know, at that time. So that was a decision. It was as simple as that." There was a great moment in the game. Jamie Milligan scores his penalty and then runs back to the halfway line. And, and I know it's him and Richie Baker both applauded Ian Ormson because mm. Ian had made a great save and then a pinpoint ball forward for Scott Spencer to win the penalty. Yeah, it's, uh, he's got a sat nav with that kick, <laughs> hasn't he? You know, it's, it's, it's radar, and um, it's, it's not by accident because he does it. He does it in training. I've seen it in games, game after game, and uh, and that's what you get out of him. You know, they, they've both got Danny and Ian have got. Both got great qualities, mm. and um, 
you know, I, it's very difficult to, to find the difference between them. Must be doubly satisfying today to equal your best win of the season without your top goal scorer. It suggests that you've got a, a number of players who are capable of chipping in, as we've seen today with Scott and, and, and Richie. Well, I said that just before the game. I said, look, you know, I've looked around in this dressing room now and look at the quality. Yeah, we've got, you know, suspension still ticking away, but um, people coming back from injury. And today is very difficult. It's difficult to pick the team. It's difficult to pick the bench. I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, do you know what, if you slip up, someone's going to grab your shirt. And, th and that was the theme before the game, keep your shirt, because the dressing room is getting better in terms of people coming back from injury and suspension, and uh, you can't afford to dip in your performance. Uh, and to be fair, you know, uh, I have no arguments today. Clean sheet, um, three points, three goals, 16, 17 games on the bounce and it was scored. I'll give you the stats. 17 in a row you've scored in now. You've won 7 out of 7 at home in the league with 21 goals scored in those 7 games. And it's a great statement of intent now going to that really tough game uh, away to Charlie. Yeah, we need to book up a bit. Um, <laughs> be a good game that on Charlie. Oh, I'll tell you what, I think that'll be a full house. Yeah. I'd have some fireworks cracking off there. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think the players are looking forward to it. They're in fine form, fine fettle, confident. Um, there's a buzz about the place. Everybody's upbeat. Great prep for Tuesday. Magnificent win. Well done. Thank you.